Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And today, we're taking a look into one of my world's favorite YouTubers ever. And we're about to find out why. She's my favorite. Turns out, uh, Trish the other day, or just today, learned about people's world's most sexiest man on earth. Get ready to have your ears assaulted by her. You know, with Unless you're a valley girl, then, well, thank God for habituation, I guess. <laughs> so, People Magazine just recently named Adam Levine as sexiest man of 2013. I was like, hold up, rewind, is this 2001? Like, this is when Adam Levine has been popular. Like, since when? Like, I want to know. And I want to know who voted on this. Gay men? And bunch of women like Adam Levine as the girliest, most feminine man. Like I'm pretty sure he wasn't even born a man. Like it's so crazy to me that he is. Becky, look at her chest. It is so big. Yeah. I would like to spare you people, but, yeah, Trish, here's my attitude to the whole thing. Since when did you allow, or has anyone allowed, someone to judge what is considered the world's sexiest man, and cared about it? It's completely arbitrary. It's called a list. It's this way of controlling the minds of human beings to just tell us what we can and can't find sexually acceptable. I mean, heck, believe it or not, I like men with hairy chest. But it turns out a lot of people don't find that whole hairy chest thing be attractive. And do I look like someone who cares? Let me think about this. Sing this in the most 90s kids way possible. Uh, not! People Magazine sexes me like. People Magazine used to be on. They used to have like Mel Gibson, Brad Pitt. I mean, what happened to the. If you find men that beat their wives and so much that they have to end up recording it on their phones, sexy, then sure, he's the sexiest man alive. Way to go, Trish! Like being on the best show ever, The Good Wife, Alan Cumming. He's like a million times more attractive 
and Ryan Gosling and Adam Levine combined. It's like, hello, who else is on the list? David Beckham? I mean, oh, really? Really? Like, David Beckham? No, I'm sorry. He's married to the 90s as well. Like, he's just not hot. He's like a dad. Oh, yeah, he's also married to one of the Spice Girls. I think it's like Scary Spice or whatever, so. Maybe that's why. Might be Scary Spice, but I think there's a flying ass. Part of my language, but hey. Pardon your inability to know. No, Mom! entire world on top of that, yeah. That's real sexy. Not Robin Williams made a comeback. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Robin Williams is like no offense to him, I like him. He's still funny. But he's like at least 60 to 80 years old. Come on, Trish. No offense. It's not that he's sexy in his own way. His own way. But, you know, not every woman on the planet is going to associate the idea of being sexy with Robin Williams. I mean, you're going to get on them for Ava Levine, and then you're. Then no one can get on you for Robin Williams? Really? Wait. You know, like who even knows? Um, sorry, who won the Oscar for best something this year for Django and Chain, Quentin Tarantino looking sexy as hell. I'm sorry, like for real. Like where I wanna know who the editor of the people magazine are. I wanna see their faces. Like they have to be getting paid by these publicists. It has to be a thing with the voice. So like, okay, get out of the of like Shelton in there and then we'll like promote the voice and we'll pay you like a million bajillion dollars. Like Oh, anyways, I was just so beyond, oh, I don't know, I'm sorry, part of this was so ranty, I was just so beyond inside myself, I was just like, what is happening in this world? She says this while she has a book, one of her, uh, confessions of a stripper, and I think another book that she wrote on the side of her as well. Just let you know that. If you watch your video, is what happened to sexy? What is sexy? Who is bringing sexy back? Not just Timberlake, apparently. Ha ha! You made a funny. Ha 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 ha! Notice how I made at least four jokes that were funnier than this whole video. Yeah, I know rant, but who cares? my little rant, and yeah, I'd like to know who you guys think it should be the sexiest man alive for 2013. If I had to pick the sexiest man alive for 2013, oh, that is a tough one. I don't even know. Anyways, I'd That's why we have a list. Love to hear your 
your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below who your sexiest man alive was. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Okay. Here's my part to the whole thing. Watching this video was the equivalent of having dental flaws run to your... No, 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 no. It was like having pain. Pain. Okay, have you ever seen Freddy's Dead? I think I did a review, so if you don't know, go see it. But imagine that scene with the kid who had to wear this, say, uh, Q-tip scene where Freddy takes the Q-tip and runs it right through the kid's head and then pulls out and you see all this blood brains that's how I describe some of this entire video as it felt to me. It's like Trish who cares? That's what the list is for. It's arbitrary. No one cares if someone makes this list. Heck, I tend to think the sexiest man on earth should be Michael Jordan. But you know something? There'd be just as many women out there who would disagree with me. Um, let's see. Michael Jackson, before he went crazy and had all those surgeries and became almost like a corpse unto himself, so, yeah, maybe, yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say, okay, but I don't, hey, just let you all know, I neither hate Trish, and I hope you all didn't mind my, you know, try to gag, and jokes, things like that, I, or my stuff. I was just making fun, and I felt like, why not? <sighs> but anyway, I hope you didn't mind that stuff. It was just you try listening to her voice and being a reasonable person, okay? No offense to her, but seriously. Now, of course, the amazing thing is, I'm still subscribed to her. And not only that, it's the list itself, too, and her whining about it. Considering, if you watched anything else she's done. <laughs> Anyways. Hope you still like me, and I'm willing to still stay subscribed to me, even though this video probably was cruddy, it's just... This is my way of venting too, folks, let you know. Anyways, Evie out. Have a great night. Uh, follow me on my Tumblr, Twitter, and have a great night.